Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I was never, a, never have been a big fan of trash talking. I find most of it to be quite infantile. But to be honest with you, if it's real, if if the beef is real, I don't mind it so much. Like it does kind of amuse me. I've got to be honest. And one example would be. Jack Catterall and Josh Taylor, they seem to genuinely dislike each other. They deny hating each other, but, you know, <laughs> I think the, the beef is real, as they say. Now, another one who's not shy with saying a few comments is Subriel Mateus, who is 31 years old, 140 pound champ. Um, and he's calling everyone out. And he did it, I think, after his, after every win. He's made his last five opponents retire on their stool. The last one was um, Shojohan Ergashev, who was undefeated. A few of these are undefeated fighters. He's just making them quit. This guy puts heat on you from the word go. The pressure and the hard, clumping, thumping punches just smash people down, break them in half. And he was, he's moved to Matchroom, I think, from PBC. And a press conference was held for him to sort of announce himself as a Matchroom fighter. Um, and he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you a few little quotes here. He said, uh, you're watching the best 140 pounder in the world. I feel like I'm going to destroy my opponents. And that is what I want to do in the future. I'm really confident of my abilities. Yeah, you're not kidding. All I need is the opportunity. And I think people are going to see that opportunity now with Matchroom, it means. My security and confidence in myself can be considered arrogant at times, but if we're talking about other fighters like Tiafimo Lopez, Devin Haney, I won't even talk about Rolando Romero because he's a comedian. I'll face any opponent put in front of me. I will knock out and retire Lopez. And Haney, I don't know, because he runs like a chicken. <laughs> no, no I, don't think, I don't think Haney runs like a chicken. I think he's a very good boxer, but... And there's no doubt that it would be an explosion if Mateus faced Lopez. Lopez doesn't like to take a step back. Neither does Mateus. That would be a great fight. I'd love to see that fight. The Haney fight would be fascinating too, but although, although a very, very different type of fight. But what I do love is the fact that Mateus wants it all. He wants all the smoke, as, as the younger people say nowadays. And... To be honest with you, even though he's 31, which isn't that young, he's only had 20 fights, no, 21 fights, 20 wins and one defeat, which he later avenged by knockout. And the defeat probably had something to do with the fact that he was, he was still recovering psychologically from killing a man in the ring who was uh, Maxim Dadashev, a Russian fighter, who died following a... Or Buddy McGurk pulled him out after 11 rounds against Mateus. But that's how dangerous Mateus is. He's a, he's a, I was about to say he's a killer. I mean, he's literally a killer. It's a bad taste to say that. But metaphorically speaking, yeah, I mean, the guy the guy is is the real deal. And Eddie, Eddie Hearn said, we've wanted to sign Subriel for a long time, and now the time has come. In my opinion, he's one of the most exciting and dangerous pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet. He's already a world champion, so people don't have an excuse not to fight him. He wants all the smoke and all of the big names in the division. And Mateus is Puerto Rican promoter, because it's a joint promoter, a joint promotion now. Um, Fresh Productions is the, the Puerto Rican um, promotional outfit. Um, they've been struggling. They say they've been struggling to secure Premier Fighters to face him, but that should be coming to an end. Uh, and I think, you know, the weight that Matchroom carry with the zone will, might make the difference in terms of money offered. But realistically, even if you offer a ton of money, do people really want to fight this guy? Really? I don't think Haney or Lopez would dodge him. They're, they're both real fighting men. But... Yeah, at 31, he needs to fight the absolute best, the, the people at the very top, I think. Anyway, what do you think of Subriel Mateus? I really love him to bits. I think he's one of my favourite fighters. Um, and please, you know, leave your comments below. How far do you think he can go? Do you think he beats Haney? Do you think he beats Lopez, Tio Lopez? Who would, uh, he's actually got Liam Paro next, the Australian, who's a, who's a good fighter, but I don't see him beating Mateus. I think Mateus stops Liam Paro, and Liam Paro is a good fighter. But Mateus has that elite look about him. He really does. 
So leave your comments below um, and tell me, give me your opinions. I'll read them. Um, and yeah, thanks as always for listening. Please subscribe to the uh, the channel if you're new. Thank you for that. And also, if you could hit the like button, that always helps us out too. So yeah, looking forward to reading your comments. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.